Hi everyone. Due to the horrific events that happened in the past few weeks, all ad revenue from this video will go to the earthquake relief effort in Syria and Turkey. You can help by watching this video in its entirety. I have also linked many of the charities that are helping in both of these countries down below in my pinned comment. If you can donate, please do. Thank you. Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill. And on this channel, we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. I also talk about celebrities and the different products that they use. And whenever possible, I try to find you inexpensive dupes. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe. In today's video, we'll be discussing the Hollywood trend of using Ozempic to lose weight. I'll tell you all about what this medicine is, what it does, and who it's for. We'll also discuss the celebrities who have admitted to being on this medication. Lastly, we'll discuss the celebrities who have been accused of being on this medicine but who have denied it. Let's get started. So what are these weight loss drugs that celebrities are using? Well, they're called GLP-1s. A GLP-1 works by mimicking a hormone that occurs naturally in your body called glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1 for short, and it specifically targets the areas of the brain that are responsible for appetite and food intake, the satiety center. When GLP-1s are injected or ingested, they help you to feel more full or satiated. You get that full feeling for longer. Now, GLP-1s go by many names. Here are a few of them. Ozempic, which is a weekly semaglutide injectable. Rebelsis, which is an oral form of semaglutide. Wagovi, which is a weekly injectable semaglutide. And Wagovi was actually developed for people who would just like to lose weight who don't have type 2 diabetes. Manjaro, which is a weekly injectable of terzapatide. Victoza or Sixenda, which is a daily injectable liraglutide. Now there are other GLP-1s that I haven't listed here, but these are the most commonly mentioned. Now who is this drug meant for? So it was originally developed to help type 2 diabetic patients to control their insulin. Although this medicine was originally developed for people with type 2 diabetes, a lot of other people have been taking this medication. People who have pre-diabetes and who are severely overweight. There are also people who would just like to lose weight that are not pre-diabetic and who do not have type 2 diabetes. Now, how does the drug make its users feel? So this medicine works on the brain's satiety center, and it makes you feel full or satiated for longer than you normally would. It also delays stomach emptying. So in essence, you actually feel physically full longer. And this causes you to eat less, which in turn makes you take in less calories generally leading to weight loss. This medicine also helps people with insulin resistance. Now it's very technical, so I'm not gonna explain it here. Please do your research. Now, when people are on this medication, they report feeling less cravings, in particular for things like simple carbohydrates and desserts. People are in essence able to pause before making their food choices. And this oftentimes leads people to make healthier food decisions. Now, people on GLP-1s are encouraged to eat more protein and stick to things like a paleo or keto diet. Although this isn't a strict requirement, it's more often a suggestion. And being on these types of medicines actually helps you to stick to these types of eating regimens better. Now, here's my bias. I do believe that these medications are a game changer. I think it's gonna help so many people. Now, in the last video I made, I was accused of being sponsored by the drug companies, and I am not sponsored by them. I would 100% tell you guys, I would disclose it. But that does bring me to the sponsor of this video. Today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. I've been drinking AG1 by Athletic Greens to get my daily serving of nutrients. And being as busy as I am, it makes it really hard to honor my New Year's resolution to eat healthier. AG1 by Athletic Greens is more than just another greens powder. 
It literally has 75 different whole food sourced ingredients. There's vitamins, there's minerals, there are superfoods, there's even adaptogens. There's so much inside of this. And surprisingly, I've been pretty consistent with doing this every single day. And it's so much easier than going to the grocery store and having to figure out how to get all the different foods that are in AG1. And I'm so extremely happy to be working with them in today's video and to hopefully hook all of you guys up if you use my link. So this literally takes no time at all to prepare. You just take a scooper, put it into your favorite drinking container. You can even use a water bottle and add water. Shake it up. And it tastes good, which is surprising for how many good things are in it. AG1 has a ton of phytonutrients with an added benefit of immune support, which is so important this time of year. It has zinc, vitamin C, and adaptogens like healing mushrooms. And that just really helps with your immune system. There are no GMOs, no herbicides, no pesticides, no artificial flavors or colors, no preservatives, and no sweeteners. Here's the link that I have, and I'll have it down below as well. It's athleticgreens.com slash Lori Hill. If you sign up with my link, you'll get a couple little gifts. You'll get these five travel packs, which are so handy when you're traveling. You'll also get this dropper, which has a whole year's supply of D3 and K2, which is also great for your immune system. Thank you so much to AG1 and to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome. And thank you to all of you who support my sponsors. Now this medication does have side effects. Nausea is a big one. If you overeat on this medicine, you may find yourself vomiting. There are also people who are extremely sensitive to this medicine and even eating small amounts of food may cause them to get nauseous or to vomit. Pancreatitis is also a rare but serious complication as is constipation and diarrhea. Once again, do your own research on this and speak with your doctor. Now, where do you get this type of medicine? You can get it from your doctor, from an endocrinologist, and even from a med spa. What is the cost of this medicine? Medicine. The cost truly varies depending on the type of insurance that the patient has and what the patient's particular health circumstances are. Now type 2 diabetics are often covered fully for this medicine. Again, check with your primary insurance carrier about this. But people with pre-diabetes or just insulin resistance and people who just like to lose some weight are often not covered on this medication. Although there are some insurance companies that are starting to come around to those patients as well. Now coming back to the cost, if your GLP-1 isn't covered, it will probably cost you between $800 and $1,300 a month. There are compounding pharmacies that have been known to offer less expensive versions of these medications that are available as well. Please do your research about those. Now what qualifies a person to get this medication? Well, as I mentioned before, type 2 diabetics are often qualified qualified for this medicine and people with excess weight to lose are often prescribed medicine like Wagovi. As far as celebrities and people who really don't qualify for this medicine but do want to lose a few pounds, they are often getting it from places like med spas. At a med spa, they're likely to get the compounded version and they're often paying upwards of $500 a month. And if they were to get it just from their doctor, then again, they'd be paying between $800 and $1,300 a month. Now, what happens when you stop taking this medicine? Well, it's not advised to stop taking this medicine if you are a type 2 diabetic. But for people who are just trying to lose some weight, oftentimes they'll find that they're going to regain this weight as soon as they're off the medicine. And the studies that have been done do do support this. At least with the information I have right now, this does seem to be a medicine that you stay on. Now let's talk about Ozempic face. So there's been a lot of stories online about people who get the look of Ozempic face. Ozempic face is simply the face you get when you lose a lot of weight. And that's generally caused by fat loss to the face. There's been many doctors who have talked about this, that there's actually no difference. There's also been some commentary about Ozempic face being a way to shame people 
who have used this medicine to lose weight. I strongly encourage those of you who need this medicine to ignore things like Ozempic face or Manjaro face. Now, what is Ozempic but? Well, for some reason, this medication tends to cause very quick weight loss. And along with this weight loss, it seems to deflate the butt and give many of its users what's known as kind of a pancake butt or a flatter butt. Now, this side effect can be avoided by losing the weight slower, making sure you get enough protein in your diet daily with no exceptions, as well as doing weight-bearing exercises at the gym along with using GLP-1s. Now let's talk about celebrities who have admitted to using GLP-1s like Ozempic or Manjaro. Let's start off with Chelsea Handler. Now Chelsea Handler is the first celebrity we're gonna talk about who admitted to using the drug Ozempic. But she actually said that she didn't realize it was Ozempic that she was taking. And as soon as she realized it, she discontinued use of it. She said, it's too irresponsible. And she also said, I'm an irresponsible drug user, but I'm not gonna take a diabetic drug. I tried it and I'm not gonna do that. That's not for me, that's not right for me. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell has lost 10 pounds since Christmas and has admitted to using the medication Manjaro. Finally, Elon Musk. Elon Musk admitted to using the drug Wagovi which is also a GLP-1, after someone on his Twitter asked about his physique. Hey, Elon Musk, what's your secret? You look awesome, fit, ripped, and healthy, lifting weights, eating healthy. To which Elon responded, fasting and Wagovi. Now let's talk about the celebrities who have been suspected or accused of using the GLP-1 drugs. Now Kim Kardashian is a big one. Of course, I did a video on her here and definitely go watch this video because it has a lot more information about Ozempic. But Kim got shockingly thin after the Met Gala, after she lost 16 pounds to get into Marilyn Monroe's dress, she got even more thin and that caused people to speculate that her new thin figure may be because of her having some type of weight loss surgery. But there were other speculations that she may be on an injectable GLP-1. If we look at Kim today, we notice that she's still extremely thin. And in particular, she's very thin in her waist area with some loose skin to her abdomen. A lot of these GLP-1s like Ozempic and Manjaro and Victoza have significant slimming effects to the waist and Kim's waist looks in particular very, very tiny. So my guess would be that Kim is on an injectable medication. I also have a source who has confirmed this as well. Oprah Winfrey. Many people have speculated in recent times in 2022 and 2023 that Oprah looks very slender. Now, of course, Oprah is affiliated with Weight Watchers. She's a big proponent of eating a well-balanced and nutritious diet. But could she be using a GLP-1? It's very possible. Remember that GLP-1s are not just for weight loss, they're for controlling diabetes type 2. And you can't know who has diabetes just by looking at them. So it's very possible that Oprah could be using a GLP-1 for her health and as a side effect has lost weight as well. Mindy Kaling. Now recently, Mindy's been spotted looking fit and very, very slender. And it's caused many people to ask her and speculate if she's using an injectable medication. Now to my eye, Mindy does look extremely slender and slender in the areas where Ozempic or Manjaro typically slenderizes people. So if I had to guess, I do think that Mindy Kaling may be on the medication. And remember, it could be for her health just as much as it could be for her looks. Kyle Richards from The Housewives fame. Kyle has been posting to her Instagram and other social media platforms looking amazing and fit. One person commented, Kyle is skinnier than ever. Another person said, accountability or Ozempic. LOL. And Kyle shot back, do not spread lies. I'm not on Ozempic. And Kyle was again hit with 
accusations when she posted a photo of herself in a bikini in January. And users asked her how'd she get her fabulous figure. And Kyle said again, I've never tried Ozempic and this is not from plastic surgery. Although she does admit to a breast reduction. Now I won't be commenting on Kyle because she seems extremely sensitive about this topic, but I do wanna say again, there's no shame in getting help with weight loss. Now there is a chance that Kyle may not wanna say if she's used an injectable medication because there have been shortages of these medications and she may be hit with accusations of causing or helping cause the shortage. As the demand for these drugs rises, I do believe that drug companies will start producing more of these medications. So I don't think that the shortages will last a long time. Khloe Kardashian. So Chloe shared photos on her Instagram from her appearance in a magazine earlier this month and a user commented, the fact that she uses diabetes medication to stay skinny is disgusting. And Chloe responded and shut down the rumors. She said, let's not discredit my years of working out. I get up five days a week at 6 a.m. to train. Please stop with the assumptions. I guess New Year still means mean people. Now, Chloe didn't directly say she's not on the medication, but she makes a really good point. She works out so much, way more than the average person, and that takes so much dedication. It shouldn't matter if she's on an injectable medicine to lose weight. Now, if we look at Chloe's photos from about a year back, there does seem to be some evidence of her being on the medicine because of her now very small, small rear end and her very tiny waist, which Ozempic and drugs like it really do cause a shrinking effect there. Now, we don't know anything about Chloe's personal health. Who knows? She could have been pre-diabetic. We really don't know. And she's completely right that people shouldn't discredit that she works out so much and really trains hard. Whatever it is, Chloe looks amazing. The last person that people have speculated uses Ozempic is Post Malone. Now, Post Malone is more recent, but people were really freaking out about these concert photos of him. He's currently on tour in Australia, and during a recent show, fans became super concerned after he appeared to be much thinner than normal. Now, I don't know that Post has commented yet, but Post's own dad said that his son is the healthiest he's been in years, both physically and mentally. Now, it's hard for me to tell what Post's weight loss is from. He does look significantly thinner. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you guys think he's on it? What I did notice is there was a lot less hate for a man being on the medication. I don't know if that's a coincidence. I think a lot of male celebrities are able to get away with these sorts of things without getting a lot of hate for being vain or people disgusted at them. So yeah. I'm not sure why that is. Now I am working on a video where I will be discussing possible plastic surgeries that can result because of someone taking these GLP ones. Let me know how you feel about these medications in the comments below. Remember to keep the comments kind or neutral. Now I do want to give you my bias. I do think this medication is a game changer. I think it's more positive than it is negative and I think it's going to help so many people suffering from obesity related illnesses and it'll help others as well who are suffering from type 2 diabetes. Thank you so much to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Please check out my link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Up next is my most recent celebrity product video. You definitely want to check it out. It's right here. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>